Hello everybody and welcome to an updated video on installing mods for Risk of Rain 2. My previous video could have been a tad more specific so in this video I'll be sure to go over all of the details. The site we're going to use is thunderstore.io. There are two essential mods for Risk of Rain 2. The Risk of Rain 2 API and the Bepin X-Pack. So let's start with the Bepin X-Pack. Click manual download obviously. Go to your downloads folder and you're going to need a program that extracts the files. I believe Windows has a built-in extractor nowadays but you can also use WinRAR, 7-zip or whatever you want to use. So simply right click the files, extract them and the only thing you need initially is this manila folder here the bepin x-pack folder icon manifest and readme you don't need them at all you can just delete them inside of here again we don't need the readme so just delete it you don't have to but i find it's a lot easier to track what's going on if you only have the essential files with so these are the three files right here that we need from the bepin x-pack now what i like to do is take these three files so copy them cut them whatever you want to do and then i go over here and i have a folder on my desktop called mods you can name it mods risk of rain 2 mods whatever you want and inside of here i just paste these files and leave them it'll make sense why i do that in a second so going back to thunderstore we just go back now do the same thing, but for Risk of Rain 2 API. Click Manual Download, go to your Downloads folder, and here is the Risk of Rain 2 API. We're gonna extract it again. Here, the only two things you need are the Mono Mod folder and the Plugins folder. For the Icon, the README, and the Manifest, you can delete them, you don't need them. So again, I will take these two folders, I'll copy them, cut them, whatever. Go to where you just pasted the other folders for the Bepin X-Pack. Again, I have a folder called Mods on my desktop. Go inside of the Bepin folder and simply paste the two that you just copied for Risk of Rain 2 API inside of this folder. What it's going to do is overwrite this mono mod and this plugins folder. So if we check here, we check mono mod, we have now assembly C sharp, blah, blah, blah. So that's good. And we check the plugins folder and look at that. We have the risk of ring two API. So now everything is nicely stored inside of this mods folder on my desktop and inside of the BEP and EX folder, we now have the correct risk of ring two files under mono mod and plugins. Now, all you have to do, go back to thunderstore.io, pick a mod that you want to play. Let's say we want to do the rogue wisp mod, click manual download, go to your downloads folder one last time. This is the mod I just downloaded, so I'm going to extract it. And the only file you need when downloading a specific mod, so not the Risk Rain 2 API or the Bepin EX, is the DLL file. So again, readme, manifest, icon, don't need them. The only file we need, this is the mod, the DLL file. You take this DLL, you go to that folder on your desktop, wherever you saved your mod folder, go inside of Bepin EX, and all of the mods you're going to use are saved under Bepin EX plugins. So go to the plugins folder and you paste it right here. So don't go inside of the Risk of Rain 2 API folder. Just any DLL files you have, you paste them right here under Bepin EX plugins. So now that we have a mod in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take these three files. Don't cut them because I like to keep the files on my desktop. Simply copy them and then navigate to your Risk of Rain 2 folder. By default, that is going to be located under your C drive, program files, x86, scroll down, find Steam, go to Steam apps, common, Find Risk of Rain 2, here it is, Risk of Rain 2. And then right here in this folder, you paste all three files. So you're gonna see Bepin EX, doorstop config, and the DLL file right here. If you see all three of those, literally you just go to Steam now, click launch on Risk of Rain 2, give it a second, a little terminal window will pop up. And then we go here and it looks like the game is launching just fine. We can click the continue button, go to single player. I downloaded the Rogue Wisp mod. So sure enough, bada bing, bada boom, we have the Rogue Wisp. Let's just make sure it's working properly. And it looks like we're good to go. Now, one important thing to note is that for a new update, so when the game itself is updated, the mods have to be updated by their individual creators until they will work with the update. The exception to this is the Bepin X-Pack because it's like a framework mod. I don't know exactly what the details are, but every single other mod must be updated for the current patch or else you're going to risk running into a ton of issues. So keep that in mind. Other than that, thank you for watching.